Hey, what's up gang? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hey guys, wanted to do a 2017 lawn care trailer setup video. I know you guys have been asking about it. I got a, finally a free minute to do it. Let's check it out right here, right now. Guys, first off, we have the brand new enclosed trailer, the eight and a half, 16 SureTrack trailer. Absolutely love it. We've had it for about a month now. And uh, my gosh, I couldn't be any more happier than I am with uh, the purchase and the selection. Let's see the inside. We've got the heavy duty ramp door with the integrated ramp. We've got the heavy duty metal transition flap. I got this trailer over at Kelly and Sons over in Carlton, Michigan. Absolutely love it. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but you got the Euro style lighting. Now guys, it's taken me quite a few years to get to this level, so don't expect to do this overnight. If you want to top out everything on a lawn and landscape business, uh, in my opinion, this is where you can be in just a few short years. You guys know we have the equipment defender four position trimmer rack. Absolutely have fell in love with these over the last two or three weeks that we've had them. We're running the Red Max 260 TS, an Echo 2620, and then two Echo 2460 HEZ uh, edgers absolutely love my red max edgers always have two of everything so we got a backup in case one of them goes down for either you guys might be able to see that we have the sure can gas cans we're an advocate for them so absolutely love my sure can gas cans wouldn't have it any other way uh, on the back side spare tire with the spare tire mounts Right now in the summertime, we're running the Mariyama BL9000 backpack blower and an Echo 770T. You guys know we have two Red Max 7500s as well. I use those spring and fall, much better with leaves. In the trailer, you guys can see that we have the two five gallon gas cans from SureCan as well. We've got the bucket for trash. We've got the trimmer spool line. Now this was also sent to us by Equipment Defender. Uh, pretty decent little trimmer line. I just bolted it to the wall. Didn't have time to mess around with it too much. Hand tools on this side. We got our two pitchforks and then my trench shovel. We also run the Echo 2420 hedge trimmer, which I'm absolutely in love with. Uh, the thing is just an absolute beast. Over here, we've got the rack for the backpack sprayer. I think I'm looking at the SG20 by Seal, if that's what it is. I saw one of those at my dealer. Might be checking one of those guys out. It's about 120 bucks. And then last but not least, as you guys can see, we have the 2016 Laser Z X. This thing is an absolute monster, guys. 34 horsepower. You got the red technology with the uh, eGov. Absolute beast. 60 inch deck with the Ultra Cut. Guys, in my opinion, probably the most top of the line lawnmower that you could literally get. Uh, I know everybody loves their brand, but for me being an Xmark guy, this thing is the bat of the bone beast. As you guys know, this one has the full floating suspension seat. On this one here, you guys know we have the OCDC chute, which stops the grass clippings from flying out. I can control that with the foot pedal. Right here, you guys also know we have the turbo button, as I call it. As you guys know, this has the high and low settings, so I can turn this thing into a monster and run it up to about 3,800 RPM when we're cutting tall grass. Nonetheless, guys, I also have the mounts for the UltraVac, we'll do a false setup here uh, in probably about October time frame. But guys, equipment defender racks, absolutely love them for the blowers. Love the option where we can lock them out, keep it extra secure. Same thing with the trimmer racks, have the lockout option so we can keep them secure. You guys know that these come standard with the engine mounts. We have four air vents going through the trailer, that way we got that cross brace. We also have the reinforced sidewalls on this trailer, so you got that cross bracing, which gives it some extra rigidity. Last but not least, we have a couple D-rings added to the floor, that way we can uh, strap down the air aerator and also the mower when we're carrying both and then as you guys have absolutely fell in love with and I know a lot of you guys have uh, just been drooling over this one and I totally get it is the workbench that you can work with on the inside of the trailer I tinker on all my equipment with this bad boy and then we also have the cabinets up top I'll show you guys what we have inside I haven't cleaned anything we've been running hard in cabinet number one we have the measuring wheel we have my two-stroke oil and then the m12 uh, car charger for uh, Milwaukee batteries Obviously use that with the heated hoodie and things like that. Behind door number two, we got all of my sockets and tools. We also have the impact for changing the blades. Behind door number three, we got all of our postcards. Every morning when I unhook the trailer, we got our proven industry puck locks. We have three of them in here, as you guys can see. That helps me secure the doors and the ramp gate. Behind door number four, we have in no particular order, everything else that's just kind of laying out. Uh, I got extra Reese locks, I've got my spray paint, my fix of flats, uh, WD-40 hearing protection, just the basic tools guys, uh, Echo headphones, and then we've got uh, some extra trimmer line and just some basic hand tools and wrenches. Guys, it's been an absolute journey to get to this level, to have the top of the line everything, in my opinion, of course. I'm definitely thankful for the things that were sent to us because of the success we've had with our YouTube channel, but nonetheless, most of the stuff, guys, I've paid out of pocket, and it's taken quite a few years to get here. If you guys have a utility trailer or something that's busted up, or even if you have an enclosed trailer that's used and you want to upgrade and get something nice, hang in there, man. You guys can rock and roll with it as well. Grow your business, grow your income, and you can start topping things out and getting top of the line everything as well. Guys, this is my quick 2017 
2019 lawn care trailer setup. Everybody claims to have the ultimate one. For me, this is my ultimate setup, guys. I'm absolutely blessed, very thankful. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, shoot it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and guys, we'll catch up with you soon.